Hi everyone, my name is Kat and I'm the Youth and Family Programs Manager at the Connecticut Historical Society. Welcome to another episode of Kat's Creative Corner. Today, we're going to welcome spring by exploring the history and traditions of May Day, which is celebrated on May 1st. Now, May Day has been an important holiday for hundreds of years in many countries, so it has a very complicated history. In this video, we're going to focus on two May Day festivities and explore how they can help celebrate the arrival of spring. One of the most well-known May Day traditions is the Maypole. A Maypole can be made using either a tree or a pole and then attaching large multicolored streamers. As you can see in these photos, people hold on to these streamers and weave them together as they dance around the maypole. Today, this tradition has lost most of its original significance and is typically seen as just a fun way to welcome spring. However, it is believed that throughout history, May Day traditions have been closely linked with agriculture. Many believe that the maypole dance was performed to ensure a bountiful planting season. Another popular May Day tradition is the May Basket. Now, do you have any idea what the May Basket is? Hmm, I'll give you a hint. It involves flowers. That's right. It's a basket filled with flowers and treats. May Baskets are typically a way to show someone you care about them. Customarily, a person hangs a May Basket on someone's door, rings the doorbell and yells, May Basket, and then runs away. The person you left the May basket for is then supposed to try and catch you. This photo from the Library of Congress is called Mrs. Coolidge Gets a Basket of Flowers and a Kiss. It shows three young girls presenting First Lady Grace Coolidge with a May basket in 1927. Now I want you to work together with your families to create your own May basket like the one I have here. As you can see, I used a paper plate to make the basket and handle and paper templates to make the flowers. Attached to this video, you can find the instructions and templates to create your own May basket to deliver to someone you care about. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook to share your creations and your stories. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Cat's Creative Corner. Bye.